Oh my gosh, our first YouTube video. Okay, cheers. Okay, şerefe. Tabii tabii ya. Tabii tabii şerefe. Sanki Türkçe söyleyince daha yanlış bir şeymiş gibi ama İngilizce'de okey yani. Çünkü... Herkes bak. In and out, double double, duble duble. In and out burger mukbangımıza hoş geldiniz. Hoş geldiniz. Bugün çok ilginç bir konu konuşuyoruz. Evet. Ve çok önemli. Ben çok, <gülüyor> çok düşündüm bir konu. Amerika, Amerika'daki hayat iyi mi? Bu arada bu bizim ilk mukbangımız. Videoya geçmeden önce şunu da söyleyeyim. Biz gerçekten normalde burger yemiyoruz. Ama in and out bayağı meşhur bir şey Amerika'da. Anyway. Yeah. In and out çok uh, California'da. Evet. Uh. Yeah, Don't worry, we're still drinking water. See, bak. Su en içerim. azından sağlıklı bir şey. Bu videoda bu arada İngilizce de çok fazla konuşacağız. O yüzden alt yazıyı açmayı unutmayın. Ne haber? Ne haber? Um, it's difficult to eat and talk. Patates biraz uh, evet, eski bayağı. bence. Yeah. Amerika'da yaşamak gerçekten iyi mi? Hmm. Nereden başlayalım Zek? I think you have to start with the most obvious thing, which is just the price of living. This is a huge, huge issue in America. And it's a huge issue politically. It's something a lot of people are very upset about. Living in America is just too damn expensive. I mean, it's as simple as that. You know, like, okay, yes, everybody says, oh, but you make more money in America. Yeah. yeah but you also pay more money for health care. You pay more money to own a car. You pay more money for rent. You pay more money for school. We have over $1 trillion in student loan debt money in America right now. Our economy is really messed up in a lot of ways. When I heard it, I was shocked because... Government doesn't really support the students here. There is like public schools, yes, but mostly private. And it's so expensive. And a lot of young kids, like when they're 22, they have a lot of debts. And it's almost like everybody in this country. Generally, I think that American people are good. I think that people are nice, people are friendly, people are helpful. Positive. Yeah. But we also have a lot of really bad problems in this country. Uh, right now, in particular, we're very divided ideologically. Unfortunately, America does have a long history of doing some very bad things to people, black people in particular. You know, that type of stuff exists in this country. Let's say you're making good amount of money. By the way, it's salty to me. I feel like it's salty. It's my first bite. I think it's very good. Really? Mm. As much as I see, uh, life is quite comfortable here. You know, especially houses are like more individual, everybody has backyard, it's big enough, you know. So you feel quite comfortable and everybody has car. I understand that is extra, something you have to take care of, but also, you know, comfortable. Education, education seems a lot better here. Yeah, I'll say that. Education is really expensive in the States, but generally education quality is pretty good. Like, I'm very happy with the education I received. Yeah. Most people I know got good education. Yeah. Not everyone. We still have places with bad education, but overall, teachers are really good in the United States. Like, I've definitely had some really good teachers in my life and some really bad ones, but mostly really good. And that's something I'm really happy about. We don't put so much focus on test taking. Like in China, for example. Or in Turkey. In Turkey is the same way. I mean, it's so much like, oh, the most important thing is to pass the examination, pass the examination, pass the examination. Yeah, you have to pass your tests here in the United States, but like growing up, my interest was theater. So I was able to spend all of my free time going to theater, going to the theater and like acting and directing and learning to design. You know, I got to do all of those things so that by the time I was 18 and I had to pick what I wanted to do, I knew a lot more clearly what my interests were. A lot of kids, like in China, for example, all they've ever done is math and English and Chinese. Yeah, study, study. Bless their hearts, they have no idea what they're interested in. So it's I, almost like hobby, it's okay, but not like as job. Mm -hmm. You know, something I want to mention, and I love about American culture, is like um, the relationship for hierarchy like between student and teacher or manager and uh, employer and employee you guys like are not scared of authority 
<laughs> like when I saw Zach talking to his teachers, like their friends, I was like, whoa. Because in Turkey and in China, when you talk to your superiors, you always have to use like respectful words. You almost have to always like bow down. I mean, it's really rare to have friendly relationship with your superiors. Well, I think we do have a lot of kind of mutual respect. Yeah. I mean, I think the idea is like, hey, you know, it is as much the teacher or the manager's responsibility to respect me as it is to respect them. And so I think that kind of a mutual idea of respect. Right? That, yeah, we, we have that here. I don't think that people just bow down like, oh my gosh, you're my authority figure. I also think on some level it has to do with the language. Like we do have more proper language that you can use. If I'm talking to someone, I can say like, oh, yes, sir. No, thank you very much. But that level of formality we don't use as often no. as you would say like, oh, uh, Seasoning up a Jackson is, or you know, something like that. How is military service here, Zach? Like, you don't have to go to military, right? Oh, yeah, that's another thing. We don't have mandatory military service in the US, but the thing is, a lot of young people are convinced to go into the military because in the US we spend so much government money on the military. Obviously, we spend more than any other country in the world. And so a lot of young people go and join the military because they can get money from it and it will pay for their higher education. Instead of forcing you to do it, we try to financially incentivize you to do it. Is it something like because college is so expensive and your family can't afford that, is it better way to go to college? Yeah, 100%. Wow. A lot of people do that. If you talk to a bunch of people at, at a public school, a bunch of students, like a lot of them will tell you they're considering joining the army or the navy, the military, to pay for school. So you never been to a military, right? No. No, I, I never did. How about safety in this country? Again, as someone from different country, it looks like everybody owns a gun here. You go out and, you know, people, people carry their gun on their belt and like, okay, why? <laughs> It feels a little scary to be honest, yeah. especially somewhere in like Texas. Yeah, we are in Texas. Texas is a very conservative state. People love their guns here. It's true. I don't own a gun. I've never owned a gun. Actually, the first time I ever even shot a gun was in China, not even in the United States. Is it safe to live in the United States? It depends on where you live. Overall, it is a very safe country, but there are places that are not safe. If you just watch the news about America, you would think that this is one of the most unsafe places in the world, probably. Yes. <laughs> I mean, when we lived in China, I had students ask me like, Teacher, um, in America, I'm scared because everyone has a gun. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh my gosh, like a, a nine-year-old Chinese kid is saying this to me. Like, yeah. what is wrong with our perception in the world? Well. We do have instances of gun violence in this country. Fortunately, they're not happening that often, and I think they're even getting less and less. They still exist. However, it's not something that you should, like, be living in fear for. I mean, yeah, bad things happen in the United States. Bad things happen everywhere. So, you know, what are you going to do about it? You have to live your life. Let's say you come to America, you're immigrants. Can you be rich in this country? Super broad question. Okay, yeah, super broad question. I mean, like, of course, it depends on the job title. If you're engineer, I think it works here better, right? Mm -hmm. Especially like some IT guy. It works quite well here. <clears throat> yeah, it depends on what industry you're in. Tech, that's a great example. Tech is a really good industry that you can make a lot of money in in this country. A lot of people learn how to write code in their home country and speak English and then come to America and especially if you have some connections you can start working yeah and you can join a good company it happens a lot especially if the money you make here is worth a lot more in your home country like you know for a Turkish salary then yeah you would be doing really well you could afford to buy a house in Turkey with the money that you make in America especially if you don't spend too much there are some advantages so what is the average salary here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so something about here, they don't talk about salary monthly. They talk about salary yearly. So like 
I was so surprised when I heard my salary is forty thousand dollars, and I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> that it means for a year, so that's about like three thousand dollars a month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or so. I think that like teachers, for example, will probably make fifty to sixty thousand dollars a year, somewhere in that range, sometimes less. Okay, not bad. Yeah, and that's just one example. I mean, salaries range a lot for different industries. Like, if you're starting off in a tech industry, you might be making sixty、uh, to seventy thousand dollars a month, maybe less, maybe fifty to sixty thousand dollars a month, depending、yeah. depending on where you are. Yeah, where you you know, a New York salary is a lot different than like an Oklahoma salary. You know, different、yeah. places just have totally different living standards. So like, don't think you go to New York, you make more money, but also you spend a lot more money over there. Like Texas is a good place to be right now. We have zero state tax, which means that you get to keep more of the money that you make, and there's a lot more land availability. So just like the amount of money you can make versus the cost of living, Texas is one of the top states right now. Yeah. We don't really want to stay in Texas long term because we <laughs> think it's a little boring. Seriously, we're ruining the rest of our day just to film this mukbang. <laughs> Because we know this is kind of popular, but usually we don't prefer burgers. To be honest, we cook most of our meals. We don't really eat outside that often. No, when I go to grocery stores, the thing is, the thing surprises me the most is like the frozen food aisle. <laughs> like you can. When we are there, I'm like, oh my god, living here is amazing, Zach. You can even get like frozen mac and cheese, frozen Asian food. Frozen Turkish meal, like everything around the world, and Zeke is like, when you look at the packages, they look good, but if you buy them and if you try them, they are really terrible. <clears throat> so like, this is the downside. It looks so cheap. You can get a giant bag of I don't know dumplings, and like we're like, whoa, well dumplings are fine, but something else. <clears throat> like in America, we love like easy to microwave frozen meals. So it's like anything. It's like. Oh, here's shrimp and rice. Here's Alfredo pasta. Here's like things. Here's soup. Here's you know we have tons of frozen things, and we love to just like <laughs> eat those. Fast food culture and like frozen food culture. Like there's a reason that our country is so freaking fat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you want a bunch of crappy food, you can get it. But yeah. But if you want to go to a grocery store. You can get like a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables and like freshly cut meat, all not too expensive.、We、have a lot of really good restaurants. We have a lot of different countries and cultures cuisines that are available.、Oh, yeah. Overall, our food culture that is most existent in America is is、Bad. very unhealthy. Yeah, and it, it's <laughs> something Because, we like, need to work on. How can you resist to that McDonald's like? Menu is one dollar, two dollars, something like that. Like that is extremely cheap. I don't even know how much is in an Out Burger. Well, we spent thirteen dollars on this meal, and we didn't get drinks. If you go to McDonald's, same meal, and then you pay four dollars for two people. You know, it's cheaper. I'll just finish it up by saying this. Okay. To be totally honest, I struggle a little bit because I have very mixed feelings about living in America. This is just me personally. Most people here love it. Lots of people love America very much, and I'm happy for them. And I don't want to say anything against them. I've loved living abroad so much that I miss it. And especially under the coronavirus quarantine, we can't go anywhere. We can't travel. We can't leave. We can't do anything. I'm so grateful that we've been able to stay with my mom, and it's been such a good time. We've been able to focus on Nerdtouch's YouTube. You know, I've been able to focus on my own projects. Like we've gotten so much、yes. interesting stuff done, and、uh, you know, and it's been good that Nertach has gotten to see what American life is like. Like I'm glad that she gets to experience that, and we get to share it with all of you. Me、yeah. personally,、uh, I would love to be in Turkey again, or in China, or somewhere else in Asia, or, or you're anywhere. I guess I just love to live abroad. Well, can I eat something? Like even though I am foreigner here, I can. Comfortably say like, oh, I'm living abroad, but living here doesn't feel like that. Unfortunately, I don't see so much culture that I'm really interested in. I want to study about or I want to experience. So like, you know, I'm more interested in Asia right now. Maybe because we still didn't finish Asia, we still think about it. But also when I'm there, I'm like,、oh, 
my life is full of adventures i'm learning tons of stuff and i can even learn more languages but here subconsciously i am getting a little i don't know like lazier or more introverted i don't feel like i'm living abroad however no matter what we say if you're like if you're interested in coming here you have to come and you have to try overall you really enjoy here it's especially people here make you feel happy people nod and smile at each other so like i see a lot more civilization here <laughs> you know totally agree if you're young and you have the opportunity come to the states see what it's like for yourself if yeah. you're old and you have the opportunity come to the states and see what it's like for yourself and try in an app burger. <laughs> no, <laughs> we'll, it's not sponsored with we'll, that. We'll recommend some other places. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the whole video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out. Peace out. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm throwing them. Don't throw them. Zach will eat. <laughs>